digital transformation will be on a peak. Like you see in COVID, we are transformed many things. We are doing work from home. Yeah, this can definitely increase in the online payment. As uh, in this COVID situation, 90% of the people are doing online transactions. And majority of the people are saving their phone numbers, their uh, passwords on the mobile only. SIM card fraud will be done in online payments. Previously, in online payments, we did not have any options actually. We had to do online payment through banks only. But now there are wallets, so many wallets are there, and people have choices to do their online payments, like making bills. We have many applications, many wallets are there. So now that's a major difference. People have their own choices to select the online payment. And now people get many discounts on that. All sorts of people are doing digital payments. Like if you go to a Kirana store, we can do digital payment over there. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to buy milk or anything, we can do digital payments now. So majority you can see digital payment has reached across all the community. The roads are changing or the uh, as you see, I am handling the infra and the CSO part. So in infra, we have to give all the persons in our office or remote work from home access and as a CISO I had to see the security also so in our office we have done VPN with multi-factor authentication we have done RDP connections through firewall so the first person has to enter a username and password in VPN then he will get a Google authenticator well he has to put the code in the system and then only he gets access to our office network so we have done all the security measures, keeping in mind the person can work from home efficiently and security is also been taken care of. I had to first create the VPNs, then we had to create the RDPs, we had to enable the MFAs and as per person's role in our uh, office, like for accounts we had created different VPNs, for operation guys we had created different VPNs, for uh, developers we have to give different access to them. So looking and considering all these things, we have created VPNs and RDP connections and given it. And from last four months, we are working efficiently and there is no security breach. This is a major checklist, like you said, to secure remote working is to get the VPN perfectly with MFA, multi-factor authentication. Then the RTP access, which we are giving to the users, must be mapped with their IP in the firewall only. And all the logins and logouts of the users must be logged in and the logs must be checked by the security manager and the infra guy regularly that who is logging any computer is coming, they have to check in the firewall. If any disaster happens in office also, our people can work on from their home and they can connect to the cloud. We have already set up multi-factor authentication and users, I am users on the cloud. So, you can say that there is not much effect in the disaster situation right now. We don't have uh, our services in data center. We are already hosted on cloud. Earlier, we had our production servers and EOD on data center only. So now, we have moved all the things on cloud. So, there is not much difference actually. And in cloud, we get uh, regions also, A and B regions. So, we have servers on both regions. Our company is the only company who provides white label uh, payment gateway solution in which we give the uh, customer his branding on the page. He should always be prepared, like the COVID situation which is here right now, we had to fight uh, for the VPN connections, for the remote working access for all the workforce. So now I think people should be prepared, like this crisis can come afterwards also. And a fixed IT budget should be there for this type of situation. Move on cloud, cloud is not that costly. On cloud you can do data analytics also. It's easy. The log finding is easy. Employees can be trained on cloud very easily. We can create multiple uh, logins for them with multi-factor authentication. There is data security on cloud. And for the things that you can be mobile on cloud. You can use any device to connect to your servers
For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.